Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today I've got a collective haul for you I guess you'd say. It's from like four places so yeah, pretty collective. Actually five. Um, first thing, let's address the fact that my hair is now yet again a different color. <laughs> I decided to go back to my natural hair color just because I'm tired of it fading all the time so yeah, this is as close to my natural hair color as I can get. It is pretty crazy right now because I just got off work, so I took it down from a bun. But yeah, if you guys are wondering how I got this hair color, I use the Ion, and it does take two, Color Brilliance, which Ion is cruelty free, and I'm pretty sure vegan friendly. I'm not 100% sure, but like 95% sure. And this is the shade Darkest Brown 2N 2.0 like that if you're wondering and I just used ION 20 developer so and there's that and that's all I got at Sally's so next let's talk this little guy there's just like this random little shop in um, the mall that I go to it's not here but it's like 45 minutes away and we go there quite often unfortunately but uh, it's like a little vendor sorry I keep touching my hair I look weird but it's like this little vendor that just comes to the mall every now and then and they have like discounted makeup. So I got a few things there. I got all from Milani. You guys, Milani is super hard to find in Iowa. So when they have it there, I was excited. So I got the eye primer, the eyeshadow primer in Nude 01. I don't know if there's other colors or not, but that's what mine's in. And I got two other things. I got the Stay Put Brow Color in the shade Dark Brown. Looks like this. Comes with a little brush. Um, I think this is like a brow pomade. And I've never tried a pomade, so I'm excited to try that. And I also got the Shaping Brow Gel in Clear. So yeah, quite a few brow products. That's all I got from the mall. So moving on, let's talk Walmart. So, I got quite a few things from Walmart. The first things I got are these little guys. I just tried a hard candy primer, setting spray, not primer, and I actually really liked it. So I found these little minis of these three that I've never tried, so I decided to get them too. This one is the matte. This one is Brighton. And this one is Longwear. So, and they're only a dollar because they were in like the little Christmas section. So I decided to pick those up and give them a try. And these things I'm pretty excited for. I found the OGX and Candy Johnson collab, which if you don't know who Candy Johnson is, like what are you doing? <laughs> She's a beauty guru here on YouTube and I absolutely adore her. And yeah, so she came out with three different um, scents, I guess, of conditioner and shampoo. And I got two conditioners and one shampoo. I really wanna go back and get the matching for all the sets, but I felt like it was a little <laughs> overkill to get them all, but this one that I've been holding like an idiot for five minutes now is the conditioner in sparkling cider. Looks like this. It smells, oh, so good. It smells like apple crisp, if you've ever smelled that. Or kind of, I guess I do get cider, but to me it smells more, more like apple crisp, but I got the conditioner in that one. I got the shampoo in candy gumdrop. Ugh, this one smells like like grape with like a hint of vanilla. So I got the shampoo for that one. And my favorite one that I really want to go back and get the shampoo to because I got the conditioner is Frosted Sugar Cookie. And I just squirted it in the lid. That's cute. Ugh, this one smells so good. It smells like, um, like, like cupcakes. So I really like that one. That is everything I got at Walmart. Seriously considering I'm going back and getting the matching sets for those. Next, let's talk Dollar Tree. So, I love finding like randomly awesome things in Dollar Tree. So, when I do, I want to share them with you. The first things I got, I have like my storage stuff for my makeup and, and those like three drawer things. I think I've showed you guys them before. But recently, I got these containers to put in them. And I use the smaller ones mainly, which I have right here because I got two more of that look like this that are just like smaller and I use these for like blushes and stuff 
but they don't have any more of those. I bought the last two also. So I found these ones and I thought these would be cool for like foundation and stuff and they match. So I got those and I got another one, but it's full of makeup products that I'm about to show you. First thing I got is this, I guess it's not really the first thing, but this is by Global Beauty Care. It's a collagen spa treatment mask. There's two of them in here. I just was kind of like drawn to this packaging. I thought it was super cute for the Dollar Tree. And this brand is cruelty free. I had to Google it, but it is. And yeah, it's collagen face treatment. Anti-aging serum, soothing 15 minute facial therapy, minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, helps to firm, firm tone and revive skin elasticity. So that's cool. Don't know if it'll be any good because it's Dollar Tree, but hey, I'm sorry I'm messy with my hair so much, but I just like keep looking at myself and I'm like, that's not me. <laughs> so I got a lot of e.l.f. products at Dollar Tree, which is not like a huge savings, but some of these products are already a dollar and then some of them are a few dollars. I think if I'm not mistaken, one of these is a six dollar product. So that's cool. The first thing I got is liner and brow cream in the shade medium brown. This is the only shade they had there, but actually that's a lie. They had light brown too. They had light brown and medium brown. So I don't know if the shade's being discontinued or what. But yeah, it looks like that. So I now have two brow pomades to try out and I can also use this as a liner. So there's that. The next thing I got is this lip liner and blending brush in the shade dark brown. I honestly don't really know why I picked this up. Probably just to show you guys because I don't really wear lip liners and definitely not in dark brown. But it might be pretty to like warm up a nude color. It's right there and then it does have a brush on this side. I wonder what... Okay. Yeah, that kind of just makes a mess. I don't really like the brush shade. I probably won't use it. Brush shade. Brush side. I probably won't use it, but just to show you. Next, I got the moisturizing lipstick in the shade Razzle Dazzle Red. And I do, I have tried these. I do really like these. I can't remember if these are the dollar ones or the three dollar ones. But I do really like these. Here's what that looks like. Swatch right there. It's kind of more of like a berry toned red. Still real pretty. Then I got another one in the shade Bordeaux Beauty. Bordeaux, Bordeaux, I don't know how you say that. Pretty sure it's Bordeaux though. Looks like this. Is that shade? It's more purpley than the last one. This one I would call like a true berry. That's a terrible swatch. And then this one's more of like a red berry. And then the last one of these I got is Flirty Flamingo. So I don't know if these colors are being discontinued or what. Or if they just had like way too many of them or they're not selling or how that goes down. But these were the only three colors they had at the Dollar Tree. So I did of course get all three of them. At least the Dollar Tree where I went. That one's like a hot, bright, vibrant pink. This one will be really pretty in the summer and these are more fall shades. And the last thing from Dollar Tree I got is this e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Brushed Copper. This was also the only shade color they had of these and they had a lot of them. So I feel like this is probably another, one of those products they're going to discontinue. The shade if, looks like that. And this still says new on the packaging, so I don't know if they're just really bad about changing their packaging or if this is a newer product. This is really pretty. I don't really use liquid eyeshadows, but that's really pretty. I figured for a dollar I'd try it out. So yeah, there's that. And the last place I went is Marshalls. And I only got a few things from here. But the first thing I got is by Kat Von D. They had so many of these, but I narrowed it down to just two because I didn't want to buy them all. But this one's in the shade Magic. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I went to two different Marshalls. The first Marshalls I went, I got these both. And then I went to another Marshalls and I wanted to get like a lot more shades and I didn't. So I narrowed it down to two based on the fact that they were the first two at the first one I went to. They also had, I cannot open this, they also had the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light little eye sets 
and I really, really wanted to buy them, but there was like none that weren't messed up. So I was very sad about that. But these are in good condition. They're still sealed. So it looks like this. And if you're wondering, these were $6.99. Ooh, it's squished a little bit, but it's still sealed. So looks like that. Ooh, this is a pretty color. This is very similar to what I'm wearing today. Looks like that. And the other shade I got is an Vampira. I did, they had other shades that I really wanted at the other one, but because I already bought these two and I kind of bought something else at the other one, I decided not to get those. Seriously, why are these sealed so hard to open? They like retape them down probably because people open them all the time and they're really hard to open now. There we go. Okay. So same packaging. Ooh, this one's really dark. <laughs> okay. So that is pretty much the same exact color. Like honestly, I think we just found a dupe for that. Maybe not formula wise, but definitely color wise. The shade Bordeaux Beauty in Elf is a dupe for the Kat Von D in Vampira. So there's that. <laughs> I wasted money on that. Those are seriously like spot on. Like you can't tell the difference. Awesome. And last thing I got from Marshalls and last thing I got in this haul is this guy, the Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette. This was $24.99. And it looks like this. I was very surprised that this was not like touched at all. Like it hasn't even been swatched or anything. Like that, yeah. I was very pleasantly surprised about that. And it does have a dual sided brush to it. And let me hold this back up so you guys can see the shades. I don't own the entirely matte palette at all so I thought that this would be a good buy and it's Smashbox I've never tried a Smashbox eyeshadow and I really want to so yeah I was excited about this that is everything I got in this haul so you guys will have to let me know down below if there's anything that you want to see tested out or anything like that and yeah that's all I have for you guys today so don't forget to like this video and subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on any of my future videos bye guys